smashing up. They blocked off the park. They wouldn't let anybody in or out of the park. Um, they rounded people up. They told them to go stand by their tents. They had to stand by their tents, and they started packing things up and said, we're moving you to Token Peak. Um, didn't really ask people if that's what they wanted. Didn't ask, you know, didn't allow it. Most people didn't get to take any of their belongings with them, um, but some people were able to take some belongings with them. Um, and we are sort of staying around waiting for them to give us rides out to Token Creek where they say we can get our belongings between 10 and noon. Um, and then afternoon, you have to call and make an appointment to get our belongings. So the plan is for people to go out and at least get their belongings back, including my own, because <laughs> uh, my tent and, and sleeping bags and stuff are, were up on the hill and they wouldn't let me um, come on the hill to even identify the stuff. So everybody needs an idea in order to be their belongings. We're really concerned because there's some people who weren't here this morning. Um, and if they're not, if they don't claim their belongings between 8 and noon, we don't know when they'll be able to do that and with the holiday weekend coming up. What exactly do you have to be able to make fun for this? This is Lakeview Lake Hill. Lake. I, I, Lakeview Hill Park is what this park is called. Um, we prefer to go to Lake Farm Park, but they're not allowing us to go there. They're saying people can remain camping at Token Creek, but that's not a real viable option. And today, I think they rescinded their offer of transportation. So they're dropping us off way up by the truck stop on 51, and they're just leaving people there. And they would only give us transportation during the weekdays anyway. So for four days, people will be trapped out there without water, without showers, without... Um, you know, maybe well, without they're access to the belongings that they don't want to get They're going so to drop a, really, a rope from I mean, a helicopter not a real offer. and then let them slide down, but they're going to grease the rope. It's the you know, it's, it's one-way bus ticket out of town yeah, uh, without, creepy. you know, without, you know, I guess it's getting our belongings a ride out there as well, but... It's, it's very frustrating for the people so they had here. Race it's not, it's not that, that they're being oh, pushed around. Oh, I saw around. them. I was freaking. I thought they were doing it. It is that they're being pushed around. I mean, I think people knew that what they were doing was illegal. The sign says, no legal place to go. Everybody knows there's no legal place to go. So that's not what people are upset about. What they're upset about is the way they've gotten treated. Human services personnel came down the hill, met individually with people, said that they were going to try to help them. And then they're the ones that come and are telling us to get out of the park at the same time. So we're getting mixed messages. People don't know what to expect. They don't trust anybody at this point um, because people are, are, are not really um, telling people the truth. And they're, they keep saying that there's an offer of services. And last night, one of the women um, went to the shelter because they told her that she had days in shelter. And when she got there, the shelter was full. Um, if she didn't have my cell phone number so I could call somebody at the county's cell phone number, she wouldn't have gotten into shelter last night. So that's not they're not really offering realistic services. I can't jump every time somebody can't get into shelter and then call Andy and have Andy go run down there and personally drive the person out to the place that they needed to go to to be in a shelter for the night. I mean, that this is not a viable solution. This is not sustainable. And it just, it simply, it, it, it doesn't work for people. I, I don't know that they say that they're services, but I I wouldn't sleep with bed bugs. I, I wouldn't. I, I have very sensitive skin. I'd be all full of rash. I mean, it's just... I, I think that the county thinks that they're doing something that they're not, and we're not communicating at all. So it's a frustrating situation that's kind of ongoing. I mean, yeah. What's the next step? What, what do you see? Well, the unfortunately, we do have a next step. We have some potential places we can go in about three to four weeks. Um, we haven't had time to work on that because we've been so busy dealing with the county's crap that we don't have, that we haven't been able to work on figuring out how a lease would work and making sure that we're properly zoned and all that kind of stuff. But we do think we have a place to go. We just need like three weeks to settle down somewhere and work on that instead of working on getting chased around by the Real serious. Like, I think, it, I think it's, it's a very unfortunate situation. I was supposed Joe Parisi could have sat down and talked with us. We could have worked something out. Instead, he was... And I've been stranded on campsite for a week or longer now without even being able to leave. I've, I've left maybe a, a total of an hour that's and a half the in the last week. I've been able to leave the campsite. This is human services. This is the county that's supposed to be helping them and protecting them, and they're not doing it. Anything else? Yeah, I think I said enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. <so> <laughs> yeah, I think I covered it. <laughs>